The genius of young Menzel was even more than Mozart. I believe in this because uh, when you play the music of Mendelssohn, composed when he was 11 or 12, it's a miracle, it's something so special, so incredible. We know Mendelssohn in the market like a pure romantic composer. But what is today evident is that the influence by the old music, it's very strong. Of course, we remember that he was the first to perform the Matthew Passion of Bach, was the first uh, public uh, performance. He was completely crazy about the Baroque style and he had a lot of influence by this style. But it's right to say that his music is uh, melancholic in terms of uh, sea back in the 18th century. But what is incredible is the melange, is the, the uh, many elements comes together in his music. We have the beginning of the concerto, it looks really 18th century music, for example. This is like uh, uh, Carl Philip. And then you have very romantic tema. And again. Half of my heart is uh, deeply romantic, so I, I feel a very good relation with romantic music. This is the reason why we play in the last 10 years a lot of Donizetti, Verdi and other romantic composers. But in another way, I think it, it's extremely important because if you play today Schumann and you don't have a correct idea about Beethoven, it's, it's impossible to understand this kind of music. At the same time, I think without love, the Baroque music, it's very difficult to understand Mendelssohn. So it's a very natural process and I think it's extremely important to uh, know what's happened before and after in, in the repertoire. I am a little against the routine and the record Mendelssohn open to be, uh, to be alive and to be interesting and curious about the new information in, on music. It's virtuoso music, it's funny, it's, it's nice. 